fifth graders, it's time to check your bell work for Tuesday, January 5th. So hopefully you already have this done and you are watching this to check it. That would be the best way to do this. All right, it asks you to use the bar graph right here to answer the questions. This one's about cookies. Cookies for the bake sale. I always try to take a look first at what are we dealing with here and look at the number scale. Like I notice here, it's counting by fives, not by ones. And we have three different kinds of cookie flavors. We have chocolate chip, oatmeal, peanut butter. All right, number one, how many cookies are there all together? So I'm looking here with chocolate chip and I see for chocolate chip that we have 20. And for oatmeal, we have 15. And peanut butter, we have 10. All together means let's add those together. So 20 plus 15, that would be 35 plus 10 would be 45. All right, number two, what fraction of the cookies are chocolate chip? So I'm asking you what fraction of the cookies are chocolate chip. So first we have to figure out, okay, how many are chocolate chip? And 20 are chocolate chip. And with the fraction, it's part over the whole amount. The whole amount of cookies we have is 45. So 20 over 45 is an okay way to start. We can also simplify that. So you should have thought to yourself, and if you haven't done this already, you can now. What's the largest number that divides into 20 and 45? Let's try five. Usually if the number ends in zero and another one ends in five, five is definitely something that divides into both of those. So 20 divided by five would be four, and 45 divided by five is nine. So we can say four ninths of the cookies are chocolate chip. Number three, what fraction of the cookies are oatmeal? Okay, when I look up here, follow the oatmeal up. So 15 cookies are oatmeal out of the 45. So that's a fraction, remember part over whole. And again, we can simplify this. Five does go into both of those, but the largest number that divides into both of those is actually 15. So I'm gonna divide them both by 15, and 15 divided by 15 is one. 45 divided by 15 is three. So one third of the cookies are oatmeal. All right, last question here for today. What fraction of the cookies are peanut butter or chocolate chip? So that means it could be one or the other. So that means we need to put peanut butter and chocolate chip together first. Okay, so we had 20 chocolate chip, plus for peanut butter we had 10. So 20 plus 10 over 45, or 30 over 45. And again, we can simplify this. Five does go into both of those, but it's not the, not the largest number that divides into both of those. 15, again, is the largest number that divides into both of those. And if you wanted to, you could divide by five three times. Um, it'll end up getting you to the answer I'm gonna put in a second here. 30 divided by 15 is two, and 45 divided by 15 is three. So two thirds of the cookies are peanut butter or chocolate chip, which makes sense because one third's oatmeal and one third plus two thirds is one whole. You're done with your bell work for today. See you tomorrow.